Hey everybody, it's time for another Mini Mondays, and today I'm going to be talking about the Ben 10 Secret Saturdays crossover, also known as TGIS. Um, so, <laughs> why am I doing this now when it's been over a year since the Ben 10 a thon? Well, to be honest, I mean, I did a Mini Mondays on the Ben 10 Generator Rex crossover a little while ago, but to be honest, this has just been kind of sitting here not being done, and I, I don't ever want to have to talk about Ben 10 again, but to be honest, this is just sort of an open wound that I have left, and people have told me to talk about it, and I just ignored them because it's like, just I just don't want to talk about Ben 10 anymore, but I have to do it. I just, I have to get this out of the way so I can just put Ben 10 to rest forever. So, yeah, and also this is just kind of letting you guys know that I will be doing a Secret Saturdays review eventually. I don't know when, it's not scheduled yet, but I do plan to do it. As soon as I can find a good copy of it, I will do it. Um, yeah, so I guarantee that that will happen. But anyway, so the actual crossover itself. So what's the plot? Um, so this is basically just about Zack Saturday, who's the star of The Secret Saturdays, I guess, um, who is looking for chupacabras, and then Ben Tennyson comes in, and then villains, and chupacabras, and Yeti guys, and, and oh, Jesus, I don't care. I mean, to be honest, the plot is so below my radar of caring that <laughs> I can't even be asked to summarize it properly, but yeah. And I'm just gonna say right now, I haven't seen The Secret Saturdays yet, so I don't know the intricacies of the whole Secret Saturdays side of it, and I vaguely remember Omniverse's side of it because I tried to block it from my memory. I actually read my script for Ben 10 Omniverse because I was just so like, oh yeah, what did I like about this series again? So yeah, what do I like about this? Um, just like the series itself, Omniverse, the action in this is pretty good. I mean, it's not amazing or anything, but it's decent. Um, but other than that, <laughs> there's not really much that's good to say that I didn't already say about Omniverse. So if you want to know what's good about Omniverse, go watch the Omniverse review. But the thing about this crossover that really bothers me is it's the bad kind of crossover. It's the one where they don't, like, utilize their two skills together to make something interesting. It's the bad kind of crossover where they just sort of plant the two main characters and they're just like, Hey, what's your name? I do this. What's your name? I do this. Oh, here's some of the things that I do on my show. And here's some of the things I do on my show. And then that's kind of it. So that's the bad kind of crossover that I really hate. And I'm gonna be honest, the Ben 10 Generator Rex crossover was way better than this. And I still didn't like it all that much. Maybe it's because that, I mean, okay, so the core concept of the crossover in the Ben 10 Generator Rex one is that it was aliens introduced in a, to a relatively normal world environment, give or take the nanites side of it. Whereas this is introducing cryptids, which are from the Secret Saturdays universe, into Ben 10, which already has aliens, like a whole universe of aliens. So it just doesn't feel all that, you know, special or anything. It's just kind of like cryptids are sort of a downgraded version of aliens. It's hard to explain, but I think if you've seen it, you might know what I'm talking about. Um, but there's other sort of logistic problems with it, like the two universes don't blend together very well. I, they utilize the style of Omniverse for the Secret Saturdays, which, like I said, I haven't actually seen Secret Saturdays, but I know the style is different, so... Eh, I mean, they look okay in Omniverse's style, but I can't really compare it to the original yet. But, um, you know, there are other problems with it too, like the fact that Ben Tennyson really thinks that uh, Zack Saturday's mom is a, a MILF, which is kind of weird. I mean, yeah, sure, why not? But it's kind of weird because Ben Tennyson in the series, as far as I remember, is 16, and he's then she is Zack Saturday's mom? It's creepy, okay? It's, it's creepy, and they even point it out in the thing that it's creepy. But overall, <laughs> I mean, it's... I don't- I can't recommend it if you're a Secret Saturdays fan because it doesn't really give you much information on the series. There's nothing in it that would compel me to watch the series. If I had seen the Ben 10 Generator Rex crossover before I had watched Generator Rex, I would have been like, oh fuck yeah, I gotta watch that series. But this is kind of like, hey Secret Saturdays, we were a thing once, okay bye. 
<laughs> that's that's kind of the crossover in its entirety. It doesn't, they don't influence it. They, no real need for the secret strategy to even be in it, to be honest. And overall, yeah, it's just a fairly lackluster crossover. Not the worst, but mm, definitely not very high regarded in my opinion. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that.